Welcome back, fellow milk drinkers, to yet another Monday Milk Review. Today, we're going to be looking at another one of Norco's range. It's quite simply the chocolate flavored milk. Norco doesn't really seem to have a very strict way of labeling their ranges because we've got the real iced versions and then we've also just got these flavored milk versions. There's also other flavored milk versions. So I, I don't really know how to separate these. Norco certainly hasn't, so I guess it's up to us. The major difference is the bottle design. This bottle design is honestly beautiful. I love these transparent bottles. It just looks so good. They've even got clear labeling to keep it really simple and clean, which ties into just an all around aesthetically pleasing look. Last week, we looked at the strawberry version of this and we learned a few lessons. This range doesn't aim to have as authentic of a flavor and also the bottles are quite soft, so I'll need to handle them carefully. If you're looking to try one yourself, you're going to need to head into an IGA, but just keep in mind that not all IGAs will carry this item. For those who care about the nutritional information, I'll put that on screen for you now. It is a one serving bottle and it contains 440 milliliters of liquid. But with that all in mind, let's give it a quick shake before we get into the flavor. Okay, so from the lessons learned of last week, I'm gonna hold it quite softly before opening it up. Not gonna have any issue, the ring completely removed from the bottle. Let's pour it in. And just like the flavored milk of last week, you can see a lot of that residue hanging behind, which is usually a really good indicator for creaminess. The biggest question on my mind is how much of this is going to lean into that really authentic, genuine flavoring. That is my absolute peak reason why I give 10 out of 10 to the realized chocolate version. But as we saw last week, these lean a little bit more artificial. So let's go for that smell now. I think I just got a bit of chocolate up my nose. Anyway, the aroma itself is actually pretty weak. I'm not getting too much of a smell off it. There's definitely a very subtle chocolate in there, but it's not boastful like you would expect. So let's get into that flavor and see what we can find out. Damn, that's disappointing. I know this tastes like another flavored milk. I think it's a long life milk that this reminds me of, but I can't remember which brand. I wanna say it's got a kind of twang that you see in oak. I literally cannot explain it in any other way than that, but there's somewhat of a weird flavor twist, which for some reason is a little bit reminiscent of oak's flavor. I couldn't really say that this tastes genuine or authentic. It kind of just tastes like another chocolate milk, which really is a massive disappointment as such a loyalist for Norco. Oak is usually very accessible and it's a pretty good flavored milk. It's not the best, but it's accessible. This one is really hard to find and not at all accessible. If you have the choice, I would always recommend go for the realized chocolate, but to be more realistic, that's hard to find and you're probably gonna be better off going with an oak chocolate instead. To credit Norco, the viscosity is great. They always do a really good job on the texture of their milks. But the problem is this one just doesn't really do a lot for me that stands out amongst the crowd of other really competitive milks. That's probably one of the worst items of Norco that I've seen to date. There's a lot of Norco out there and that one just completely whiffs it. It's not bad, it's just so unremarkable that I can't even really give it much higher than a six, I think. When I look at other flavored milks, I think it's a little bit better than a breaker, but you're probably gonna be better with a standard oak at this rate. Norco, what are you doing? I've never had to recognize recommend someone else above you. That's really quite disappointing if I'm honest. It just seems to completely miss the spirit of why I love Norco. The flavor is kind of just artificial and you have to question what's the point of this existing when they've got a much better item on the menu. They could easily scrap all of their flavored milks and just keep the realized versions. God only knows why Norco has such a hard on for iced coffees when their real iced versions are superior to anyone else in the market. Market. You'll see four or five different coffee versions, but you've only got two of the real iced range. What the hell are they doing? There's no better brand to approach a really premium banana milk, but they just seemingly don't touch it and don't care. It's beyond reasoning and it's beyond logic. Please drop some of your coffee range. No one cares. No one needs single, double and a triple shot option. Scrap some of your range and then focus in on broadening your market. But hey, your PR 
Tower is non-existent, so I guarantee no one important's ever gonna see this anyway. But on that sad note, that wraps us up for this week's episode of the Monday Milk Review. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, drop a like and maybe even consider subscribing. I've recently been starting to make short versions of these episodes on TikTok, so be sure to rotate around and have a look for the shorter versions of my weekly uploads. No matter the platform, you'll find me at JK Williams. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you next week in the Monday Milk Review. Bye bye now.